too much. I smoke too much. Forgive me. I'm just a lonely old man. I can't sleep to save my life. Hey, we cured your insomnia. Those are some effective sleeping pills, I'll tell you what. But like, now what? What, what do we do now? Oh, I, we're not gonna crawl under the book? It'd make more sense, you wanna hide when you're an insect. Or when you're most arthropods, really. Oh, this is the bottom of the table, huh? See some, some gum stuck on there? Guys, if you stick your gum on the bottom of tables, that's just absolutely disgusting and disrespectful and quit doing that. You... It, it's just... it's just horrible. Don't do that. Don't spit it on the sidewalk either. That's also terrible. Oh. Wait, we could have just walked on the bottom of the TV dinner. That would have saved us some trouble. It's very unbalanced sitting there. It's probably gonna fall before long. And in his depressed stupor, I don't think Eddie's gonna do anything about it if it does. Well, uh, we'll be on our way then, Eddie. It'd be difficult to sleep in the same room as him with all that loud snoring. I guess that the bathroom is unmanned now. We might be able to get in. I am a little nervous about the cat. But we'll make do with, with what we can. I know I might be losing a lot by... What? Why is this celebra... Why is this celebratory music playing? What's... Why? Is it because you want his fine cigars or to Mr. take his coins? Your wife's going into labor. Doctor, I think she's in trouble. Get me a tube of blood out of her eye. Jesus. You're gonna break your placenta here. Baby's still dropping, we're losing her! She's gone! Damn it! Alright, save the baby. I'm gonna cut. Alright. Baby. I see you. Step. Damn it! Mr. Petito, I'm sorry. Your wife is dead. Oh, here I was just talking about greed and somebody's baby died. That didn't look like Eddie, though. Wow, these are some old coins. Look at that one. You could give some of these to coin collectors. I mean, they're not in the best shape, obviously, but some of them you could. I mean, it's dangerous. We're in dangerous territory now out in the middle of the floor. I see he's one of those people who keeps buying lottery tickets. Even though it's, a uh, basically throwing your money out. I understand that there's a chance you could win, but, you know, there's a chance that while you're walking down the street on the sidewalk, you could get struck by lightning. That doesn't exactly mean that I expect it to happen, now does it? Anyway, we'll be on our way back towards the bathroom door. Maybe we're gonna learn more about Eddie than I thought there was to learn. Maybe. Nope! Cat's still in there. That's kind of odd that he's just leaving his cat in the bathroom, but... Honestly, it's not the most irresponsible thing I've seen him doing. Okay. There must be some other way we can get in there, then. Maybe there's something by that electrical socket where the victorious, happy music was playing. 
still kind of otherworldly, B-movie-ish happy music, but happy music nonetheless. Well, we, we blew a fuse. Maybe we can crawl into the plug now or something? Yeah, something. Let's save again, just to be sure. Actually, no. I just saved a mi I just saved a minute ago. I don't need to save again. Uh... What the? Why does that keep happening? That's weird. I crawled behind it, and then I'm back on the floor again. Am I falling? I think that must be what the idea is, that I'm falling. And I fell again. Is that mom? Do not fear me, little one. I am your guide and friend. Do not loathe your appearance. It is merely a mask through which truth may be conveyed. Ask yourself who you are, and look all around you, for you are there, and there is another who is part of you. A great fire burns in the cellar of your heart. Be careful and wary of your noxious intent. So, we're kind of immoral. That's not a surprise. Are you trying, you're trying to use your cosmic fairy magic to teach us a lesson, guide. Is that what this is? Well, clearly it is, yes. In any case, I'm glad that we finally apparently got another checkpoint. Oh, we must have just painted the walls. You see, seeing a cute cartoon man like that in this kind of place makes me sad. Makes me sad it's so far from reality. But how the heck were we supposed to know that there was a hole in the wall right there? Whatever. At least these magical powers don't want us dead, because when we would die otherwise, we get warped back to that strange nexus, I suppose you could call it. Um... What, what's this? What, what is this thing we're inside? Oh! Oh, the paper towel dispenser! I'm pretty sure there probably aren't quite this many gears inside your average paper towel dispenser, but whatever you say... The Towel Pro 1000! Oh! Well, if it's Towel Pro, that changes everything. Let's go right down to the floor, right where the cat can kill us. That seems like a good move, right? Right. Sounds like Silent Hill 2 music. Not anymore. Oh, so this is the sink? I just feel like in here, it's really a good idea to stay away from the floor, because there's a cat. Johnny Cake? What? Is it like a urinal cake? And if so, why is it in a private bathroom? I mean, urinals are only in public restrooms, surely. What? Oh. Yeah, there's the sink. And this is... Wait, is this a urinal? I can't quite tell all these strange camera angles, but it might be, actually. Yeah, it is a urinal! Okay, he has a urinal in here for some reason. Maybe it used to be a public business back before he was, you know... ...doing his thing here. Oh! Oh, we have to go out onto the floor. That's not good. This is much some, this is something I'd much rather not do.
Oh? Well, that cockroach thought it was a good idea. Oh, I get it. This really is somehow in a drain. That's kind of horrifying. This really does sound like Silent Hill 2, though. Being out in these stark tiles makes me feel exposed to that cat. Oh, more roach killing stuff? Yeah, Eddie? I guess he was a decent guy once upon a time. Where are we? I do think it does give you a sense of how if you're a roach, you probably don't have quite as a... You have a very different idea of the layout of a room. Suddenly the room's almost like a huge cavern. And a dangerous one at that. Although it's particularly dangerous if you're a disgusting slob like Eddie. You know, Eddie... He wasn't always like this. Oh! Oh boy. So... Well, that roach got by fine. Why is that rat's eyes... Why are they red? Is it a demon? Is it a demonic rat? I think it is. Yes, actually. That's correct. There is something very forlorn about Eddie's place. Once upon a time... Back when he was married, he had a wife who was actually interested in, in helping him and bettering him. But without her, he's only sunk lower and lower. Also, I was close. We almost slipped right into the sink. Uh, oh, I get it. We crawled up the that hole there. I'm not quite sure what that hole is. But that's fine. Yeah, there's this hole I was looking for. Wait, he has a chalkboard in the bathroom? That's very strange. Uh, we can't go through the hole? Why not? Well, we can't go through the hole. In any case... I do have to give this game props. It's very atmospheric. Oh, here we can go through this hole. Oh, so it's a medicine cabinet. Oh, no, go back in the medicine cabinet. Well... He has a bunch of Q-tips. Back when those first came out in the 1920s, I believe they were called Baby Gays. He has a lot of pills. Maybe it's depression medicine. Wait a minute. His shaving cream's called Face Off? Sure. I mean, you want to keep your face on when you shave, but... We're gonna, we're gonna get out of this. We're gonna find that medallion. We're gonna get the money. But maybe first we're gonna learn some horrible, horrible truth about us during this... Night of our soul, I believe they called it during the opening. For used razors. Used razors, huh? What's that with that weird texture on top of us here? I don't know.
your used razor slot just leads into the wall? Dude, this is so... This is not a sustainable building setup you have here. Okay, Eddie? Maybe it's intentionally that way. Because it's symbolic of the way his life is not sustainable in his state of depression. My god, look at all these things. These are razors? I've never seen a razor that looks like that. I'm not saying there aren't any, but I haven't seen them. Uh, can we like climb down? Can we like climb down? Can we climb down a little bit here? I mean, that rat's down there, I guess, but... I think that was that rat just then. Well, now there are a bunch of razors on top of that rat. It's grisly, yes, but... Well, nature's pretty brutal. He didn't wash his hands! And I'm not surprised. The place is probably in violation of public health codes. Also, his urinating and then the urinal flushing sounds were very weird. Better not walk on the paint, though. If we walk on the paint, we're gonna get hurt. Because... Because... Where's that hole we crawled through? There it is. Let's go back in there, huh? Oh, no. Th here we go. Good. Thanks. Thanks for going down the hole, cockroach man. Now, I suppose the real cockroach man is Eddie, isn't it? Just look at him. He lives in this place. And I understand that the idea is that our character is some kind of disgusting bottom of the ladder person who just is put upon and stomped on, as he put it, and is also pretty filthy and despicable himself, but I still think that Eddie is the really dirty one here. Although maybe we're just as dirty. We're not in our room yet, are we? Demon rat? I can't say I sympathize. Now that's some real mojo. What is this? What? What just? You, you can't look at it? Oh, all right, sure, sure. The Rat King lies dead, and with it may your fear die as well. Fear is the great inhibitor you must conquer before you can cross the threshold of awareness. The means to solve any dilemma lie at your disposal. Remember, where there is fire, there must be smoke. Answers smolder in the recesses of thought and on the precipices of great fountains. Whatever you say, lady. I'm not into your hairstyle myself, but... You know, you can style your hair however you want to, okay? That's fine. You're, you're some kind of fairy. Okay, I'm not gonna judge how fairy chooses to style her hair. That's a surefire recipe for, for trouble. What are- wait, what did, what was that? Looks like some kind of temperature dial. Or maybe it's just like the boiler? This is the boiler, I would suspect the pipe would be pretty hot, but we're navigating them fine. Where are you going, cockroach? 
We're in the kitchen now, huh? Why does he have such a huge kitchen? Why does he need two huge steaming pots of baked beans? I don't know. Well, I know where we are at least. And we're on a refrigerator right now containing lots of beer and milk and eggs. Personally, I, I don't like eggs that are that white color. I prefer the sort of brownish colored ones. Oh no! His, he really needs to just mop his bloody floor. What's that little roach picture? Also, there's that eye symbol again. I thought it was like a brand mark. Like a, you know, a brand of goods, but it's kind of weirding me out now. Oh. That's a lot of grease up there, isn't it? What's making that noise? I don't... I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise one bit. Times like these, I think the tank controls are an intentional part of the difficulty. How the heck are we gonna get off this grease? I think we might not, is the answer to that question. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be very careful. This, if, if, if this is some kind of restaurant, this is totally in violation of sanitation codes. Now we can't crawl, crawl off the bottom. Not sure what that blue foam around us is. Not sure about what that is, but... Whatever it is, I guess it's pretty good at keeping us from crawling up on top, isn't it? Well, let's see what we find this way. In all likelihood, that stuff is some kind of poison. But at the same time, I don't know it's wise to be cooking in a room that's completely filled with poison. Even if it is poison intended for roaches, you sh still shouldn't be eating that stuff. We're gonna have to go the whole length of this thing, but on top of it, aren't we? The answer to that is a yes. Obviously, we shouldn't be getting onto that soapy foam. So what can we do? Can we get on top of it from this side? Get out of there! Come on, man! Come on, man! Get out of there! There we go. Okay, so we can't get onto it from this side either. Despite appearances, it's very sticky. Uh, come on, look at that pole. It's just begging us to climb up it. Hmm. Oh, I know. Look at that yellow bit. What is that? Like a sponge? There we go. Now we're talking. I'm looking at mops and brooms and a whole new light now. Wait, what's that thing on the floor? Oh, well. I don't, I don't want to miss another one of those cutscenes like we uh, saw when we climbed onto the box of cigars, but... Hmm. Okay, so we can't go up there for some reason. But maybe we can go this way. Oh! Uh, I mean, we're up here, so that's a start, right? Right. That's a start. This sounds like Twilight Princess music now, rather than terribly B-movie-ish kind of music. Uh, 
can we go? Can we climb over the cans? No? We can just maneuver around that smear on the, uh... Okay, good. For a second I was nervous we couldn't walk over these chilies and rice and beans. Alright. I like rice, but personally, I don't think I'd eat any of the rice that's being cooked here. It's still alive? I'm sorry for you, fish. I really am. That's... that's terrible. It's still alive, bleeding out there. Wish I could do something to help that poor fish. Well... Look at all this fish blood, huh? Get off the fish blood! It looks like we're gonna have to walk right in front of it, and I'm sure it's gonna try and eat us or something. Or fish. I guess I... What? Where am I? can't get too mad at Eddie about this, because after all, I myself eat meat that comes from a horrible system that systematically has animals lead lives of basically unceasing suffering in industrial feedlots, and I, and I've, and I tacitly support that. Someday I hope I'll be a better person and resist that kind of thing a bit more actively, but for now, that's just not the person I am. I never buy meat from stores, though. I only get meat. Well, I buy fish. I buy a lot of canned fish, mostly. You really do smoke a lot, don't you, Eddie? Oh my god! Listen, Eddie, this place... You know, I was worried about walking on the food. What am I? What, who am I? Ki who, who, who am I kidding? This place belongs to Eddie. He just keeps a bunch of rotting meat just lying around. He's he collects that stuff. He's into that stuff. <coughs> Eddie, being depressed about dead wife's one thing, buddy. When you're cooking for other people and you're this filthy that you that you have freaking maggots in your kitchen, Eddie, that's a whole different level. Just eat a bit of that. It's good and fatty. It's good for you. You can use the calories. Okay, so not that way. Uh, this way. Yeah. This is gonna be really dangerous. That is just so gross looking. What are, wait, what? What are those boxes that are popping up? Anyway, let's just keep going. And save. Oh, there we are. You know? Not gonna lie. For a, uh... Point of no return. These are like volcanoes. There we go. But what are we gonna do? Can we like move this? There we go. There we go. That's what you. That's what I'm talking about. That's resourcefulness. Most cockroaches wouldn't think of that. But we're not a cockroach. We're, we're hardly an ordinary cockroach anyway. Are we gonna go in here? After we save, we are. Eddie, this place is disgusting. As I was saying. And, like, being depressed about your wife makes me sympathetic for you, I guess. But look, you can't drag other people into it by serving this filth at your restaurant, okay? Here we are inside the guts of the oven. Uh... We're gonna crawl out these coin slots? I, I guess not.
Ah. Uh, can we, like, activate something in here or something? I, I guess and not. I guess, I guess and not. I guess not. But, knowing adventure games from the 90s, numbers might be important. So, I will photograph the screen for a consultation later. I know I was talking about how I would use a uh, guide, but so far I guess I haven't really needed much of a guide after that first part, have I? Well, we can't go over there, because that's uh, a little bit hot. You know, just a little bit. Hmm. What can we do, though? You see that little notch there? Maybe we can somehow cause put that over that and it'll turn off the flame. Maybe? Could be. Yeah, it worked. It's probably gonna explode or something. But, you know, that's fine. I'll make do with what I got. Make do with what I got. Come on, come on. There we go. This... This game really revels in just being disgusting. I mean, I guess the idea is that roaches are gross, but personally, I don't think I would have thought to make it quite so horrific. And for some reason, even though the flames are out, we can't crawl on those things. Fine. I suppose the sense of crypticness and confusion that has begun to uh, dissipate as it feels like we've learned more, I suppose that that's a pretty good uh, way of connecting to our character's psychology, because no doubt he is also pretty, uh, I suppose we'd say, goes from being dazed and confused to having a little bit better understanding of things thanks to his magical guide who is connected to the locket, and I suppose is not his mother, despite it supposedly being his mother's locket. Now, why- what have we crossed this whole stovetop for? Don't tell me it was to get to the other side. Uh, is, is there- Well, there appears to be a path to that dial, so- And we were told that everything, you know, all our problems have a solution. If only we can find it, so... Maybe that goes for this, too? No? No? No. What is that? Oh, there's that roach that's stuck there. That must be what that is. Wish I could help you, little guy. Though, as a matter of fact, I can, actually, apparently. The guide said that there's a way to help that roach, so of course I'm going to do that. Let me just be on my way first. Hmm. How do I get off of this, though? This way looks good, no grease here. I spoke too soon. Oh, here we are, uh... Yeah. Here we are. Here's a way off. Oh, isn't it? A way off. I thought it was. Don't worry, little roach. Now that I know that I don't have to leave you to die, you think I'm going to leave you to die? I mean, this is a journey of spiritual discovery, and if we can have sympathy for a little roach, then who knows, maybe we can have sympathy for anybody. And that's not a bad thing. Well, let's go. There we go. You're welcome. Roaches are nothing if uh, not resourceful. <laughs> okay, how do we get back? How do we get off of this thing, though? We still need to do that part. No, oh, I see what we need to do. Okay. Don't worry, little roach. We're gonna get through all this, okay? Okay. I know that you wouldn't even think yourself as a roach if you even think of yourself as, as anything. 
because your brains aren't quite up to the level of uh, self-awareness, you know, as far as we know. And they probably, like, aren't. E even if you can, according to some research, uh, differentiate between individuals. I don't know it's quite the same thing as self-awareness. Now this doesn't help us either! Ah, jeez. I'm glad that I was lost for a little while, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to save our new young roach friend. Uh, yeah, this way. There you go. No, oh, so we were never even stuck at all. Fancy that, huh? Fancy that. Uh... There we go. This is like a maze, isn't it? I guess it is. Hmm. Yeah, bye. I'm not gonna miss you, Stovetop. My little cockroach friend. This place must be like a wonderland to you. Just huge piles of food everywhere. It's a magical place, I know. That pepper slices shape kind of like dentures. I'm not a big fan of bell peppers myself. Oh, he has a lot of... Uh, hot sauce? The hot sauce didn't hurt us, even though the man on the bottle's on fire. Wait, what's that noise? Get off the fish! It's very slippy slidey. Where's that coming from? Uh... I think we should have taken a different route. This route looks good, just a bunch of vegetables and sauces spilled everywhere. Can you imagine the smell of this place? Now, to our little cockroach smeller, Sniffer, I don't really know how cockroaches smell, but to that, this place probably smells delicious because it's filled with food. But to me, as a human, this place no doubt smells very bad. And that noise is the garbage disposal. Alright. Is it time to take out the trash? Yeah. Well, in our vision, we saw all these uh, silverware falling in there. So I guess we're gonna trash his sink. I'm fine with that. This is a view of the wasteland we just crossed, my little roach friend. This is gonna be something you're gonna tell your grandkids about. Look at that vista, that majestic view. You went through that and survived. This might be the promised land. It's a land full of dangers, too. Eddie's asleep, so he's not gonna hurt us. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be standing on top of the sink quite so conspicuously. You know, this is me. Okay, this time no bug occurred where I was in the wrong position, pun intended. Um. Is there something? Oh, there we go! First of all, he has just cumin and, like, bay leaves and jalapenos just spilled in a huge pile of rice on his counter by the sink. Can you imagine how, like, damp that is from the sink? That's gross. In any case, uh, we weigh enough to tilt the knife. No, well, down the, down the drain, I guess. Down the drain, I guess. Uh. Come on. Okay, there, there, there you go. No, no. There. There. Uh, uh, uh. Get, get off it! Get, get off the off the knife! Or, or not, if you don't want to. I guess I'm not gonna force you. Well, it makes sense. The knife is in the air now, so. Well, we're gonna risk it going. Run a risk going down here if he all it takes is him to turn it on the sink and we're dead.
ask, who am I? Where am I going and what do I seek? Many times, for the greatest men, these questions can never be answered. Do not ask, who am I? Ask instead, who made me? For great pain was suffered at your birth, but great love was the spark of your conception. Love can still flourish in the soil of death. This is the key to life eternal.